Excited about learning Blender? Stick around after this video and I'll show you how you can get a discount on a 3D modeling and animation course at Brainy Pixel Academy. Hi there, Michael here. This is the fourth lesson in our teapot tutorial series and we're starting with our teapot that's already been subdivided and smoothed from lesson three. So now we're going to add a material to it. So if it's not already selected, select your teapot and then navigate over to the properties editor here and scroll all the way down here to the little red ball that looks like it has a little checker on it and click that. That is your uh, properties for the materials. And uh, you should see a button that says new. So let's go ahead and push that. And depending on how your blender is configured, you may have to open up the preview and open up the surface tabs. They may already be open for you. And uh, the preview, you can see it looks very similar here. And uh, then here in the surface tab, we have um, a lot of settings we can uh, work with. But we're going to just work with a base color right now. And uh, go ahead and click on this little white bar here. That is the color. We're going to click on it. And as we, re we release, it's going to open up this color picker. And we can, we can certainly work with the settings. Or we can just click and hold and drag with our mouse in here to a color and then release. And now to get off of this, just mouse off of it. That's how that works. So um, we picked a base color of red, but um, as you can see, it, it's in the preview, but it's not showing up here in the view. And that's because we are in a simple solid shaded view. What we want to do here is we want to change from the solid viewport shading to the um, look dev viewport shading or uh, even to the rendered viewport shading, and you can see that the red material does appear. So uh, it's always smart to go here in the uh, materials dialog and name your material. Let's name it red right there. And uh, then it's going to be available here in a little pull down menu to apply to other objects later. And uh, we're going to now proceed to the next lesson where we will uh, duplicate our teapot and we will look at adding materials to the duplicates. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've created some great courses for you at the Brainy Pixel Academy website. And if you really want to learn 3D modeling and animation in Blender 2.8, we've built a course that's project based that takes you step by step through the interface. This is a course I've taught at colleges, I've taught um, young people, I've taught adults. And uh, through that, I've learned a way to teach people Blender in a way you can remember it, even when you come back to it weeks later. We use a lot of the interface menus initially. And uh, if you go on over to the course, you'll see right here um, that we've got a cheeseburger challenge to get you started working, moving things in 3D space. Um, we create a domino, we create a frying pan out of curves, and we do spinning and curves for the handle, create some scrambled eggs. Well, I'm not scrambled eggs, sunny side up eggs. Um, we rig a robot arm, and uh, that's cool. So that's a little introduction to uh, rigging and animation there. Then we move on and we do a little bit of texture painting, and uh, we then take a robot character and we animate that robot character jumping on a box and then jumping up on a barrel. And that's a lot of fun and very satisfying. And then we edit a little movie using the Blender Sequence Editor. So if you think this course is for you, um, go on over there to uh, brainypixel.com courses and you'll find a link to the site or check the description below the video. And you can get a discount on this course using the special discount keyword teapot. T-E-A-P-O-T. So uh, we'll put that on the screen, teapot, and uh, that'll give you 50% off of this course. I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing some amazing things you create with Blender.